things because we're going from China to Tunbridge Wells and the Shaolin Warriors, who are known for performing death-defying kung fu moves and dancing with weapons, it says. Uh, the act's become a hit across three continents and has been watched by nearly a million people. Uh, well, as part of their world tour, they're performing in Tunbridge Wells tonight. Our reporter Chrissy Reedy is at the Assembly Halls for us now. And uh, Chrissy, there's a real treat in store for the audience tonight. Holly, going on the rehearsals, I've been watching this afternoon, I would have to agree. You might think you know Kung Fu and uh, Karate, but uh, this is martial arts as you've never seen it before. Uh, please welcome the Shaolin Warriors. They've come all the way from Beijing. And hopefully you're going to get some flavour of what we're talking about with their show. We're talking gravity-defying acrobatics, millimetre-perfect choreography, uh, and speed and agility like uh, you've never seen before. Well, I'm joined by uh, Hans, who's the production manager of the show. It strikes me there is no room for error here. No, this is very tight choreography. And with very, very small space, we also demonstrate all sorts of Chinese Kung Fu. We're going to show you animal mimic boxing and also Tai Chi and also the uh, weapon demonstration as well. Well, you mentioned the weapons. I mean, it sounds quite dangerous. Nails, swords, spears. Yeah, they sound very dangerous, but before they do the, uh, do the demonstration for weapons, they need a lot of physical training as well as me uh, mentally training, uh, spiritual training for their uh, like meditation every time we do the, uh, the performance for keep their um, inner peace. So it's not just training the body, it's training the mind. Yeah, tra training the mind, you know, not only training the body, both of them, I think. Yeah. Any injuries so far on the tour? Uh, yes, sometimes it happens, you know, but <laughs> they can get over it because they're uh, warriors. Okay, well, they're here in Tunbridge Wells tonight. They go on to Brighton and Hastings next week. And I think it's fair to say, seeing is believing. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Thanks, Chrissy. I'm glad she wore the right colour clothes for it as well. <laughs> you can do that, though, can't you? Yeah.